Hello, welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and we are here at the DSP Leaders Forum and uh, I'm talking with Sanjay Mewada, Chief Strategy Officer at Netcracker and Phil Rowe, Global General Manager at AT&T. Gentlemen, welcome both. Good to see you both. Let's Good to be here. start with you, Phil, if we could. AT&T is one of the biggest CSPs on the planet. Um, what are the key things that you and other CSPs, do you think, should keep in mind around data security, the entire yeah. subject? Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think, first of all, is a recognition that our customers, our enterprises, are looking to us to help them, not exclusively, but to help them solve the security problem. Mm. We're the ones that are delivering the platforms, the networks, the things that enables them to become digi digital enterprises, and they'll look to us for advice and guidance and direction about solving the security problem and creating a security framework or helping them create a security framework. So, uh, and I think we need to step up to that. Mm. We need to acknowledge that and we need to step up to it. We can't absolve ourselves and say security is the enterprise's problem, it's not our problem, get on with it. So we need to own it and we need to deliver solutions that will help those enterprises do that. Um, <coughs> I think we need to deliver advice and guidance to those to those enterprises in terms of how they, the things they should be aware of, the things they should acknowledge, the things that genuinely are their responsibilities to solve and can't be solved by us or, or other technology organisations. So, um, but I do think, <coughs> you know, I think there's, the, I think if you look at many institutions, many enterprises now, there's something like any single large global enterprise, there's something like 50 or plus different security components or solutions within their enterprise. Mm -hmm. All solving different, whether it's email gateways or antivirus solutions or uh, uh, you know, DDoS attack solutions, anything that's out there. I mean, many, many of them, but firewalls. Um, so, and they're all good and, they're, and, and most of them are necessary, but again, it's the gaps between those things where the, where the problem occurs. It's integration. And it's our job as service providers to deliver that integration across those platforms. It's our job to recognize, I mean, <coughs> the, the, the new AT&T cybersecurity division has created, coined this phrase, security without seams. Right? And that's the key thing. It's understanding, it's creating, an, a, if you like, an overlay across the top of those things that looks across the top of all those solutions that's inherently part of if you will, the, the network capabilities that delivers that integration, that looks across those different components and delivers a secure uh, environment. None of us, none of us can stop security threats. We can't stop enterprises being attacked. What we can do is help them understand where their risks are and where their vulnerabilities are so they can do something about it. What we can do is make sure we let them know when issues have occurred and when problems occurred, and it's our job to help them understand how they protect themselves in the future from those issues happening again, so that they can respond to those issues effectively and have them not impact their business and their enterprises. And I think, uh, you know, with, with the AT&T Cybersecurity Division, that's absolutely what we're doing now in terms of building that platform, not to replace that. I mean, we need to collaborate with all those security providers, all those people that are providing firewall solutions and antivirus solutions, and, and we do very effectively. But, uh, so we're not looking to replace those things. Those are essential components of a security infrastructure. What we need to do is bring those things together and integrate them so they become a seamless s security solution and not individual point solutions to individual point problems. Got it. Sanjay, what would you like to add to that? Uh, the devil is in the details, right? <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. In, in, in many cases, and Phil makes a good point that there are DMARCs, right? There are parts within an organization where the organization itself is responsible, say, an enterprise, right? Once it touches the network, right, it becomes our responsibility to make sure that all of that data is secure, securely transmitted, securely accessed, securely processed. Um, as a supplier, our obligation is to make sure that the software we deliver um, to our uh, customers, to uh, service providers, is not just best in class, but it has and meets and exceeds all the security requirements. Um, mm -hmm. Organizationally, it's a it's a big uh, big challenge as well, because if you if you if you think of the transformation, uh, all the discussions that we have had over the last day and a half, become going from a CSP to DSP. An important part of that is change in processes. Um, oftentimes you will have organizations where the security um, function is a separate silo. 
increasingly um, what we are seeing is the concept of DevSecOps, not just DevOps. Um, that security is the common denominator, that you have security experts within the network function, within the IT function, within the business function, within the operations function, and all of them are embedded in those organizations so that as you develop new services, as you roll out the network, as you do all the things that a CSP does well, exceptionally well, that there is a security element to it that is embedded right there and not as part of a standalone silo somewhere. And so all of these things come uh, go into play to make sure that the integration is seamless, um, that the organization is fine-tuned to be able to adjust for all the requirements of security across all of the various domains and functions, and from our side to make sure that we uh, we bring the best in class. Uh, in the United States, for example, uh, we work closely with the NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, under the U.S. Department of Commerce, um, and we use the cybersecurity uh, the cybersecurity framework um, of NIST as our baseline, and then build on that to be able to be at the leading edge of delivering the right solutions right capabilities uh, to our customers as they expect it, and ultimately to the end users who expect it from our customers. Brilliant. Thank you both so much. Roger, thank you.